possible every single thing is possible so my husband you know like I, I asked my husband that and he goes well that was us because when he met me I was married so it was right person wrong time but I really think it was the right time because you know me not being available for a relationship meant he met a version of me that was not insecure I was very secure in my relationship with my husband at the time so he met the confident me and he knew the confident me for a few years, you know, before I ended my first marriage and the two of us got into a relationship and I went into an insecurity phase. And so because he knew who I was when I was confident, it, it kind of gave him the ability to stick through my insecurity phase because, you know, part of his brain was like, this, this isn't, this isn't how she is. This isn't who she is. Like, what do we need to do to get back to who she is? Uh, how long is the writing process to write a book? So, I mean, it depends on individuals, right? But for me, it's about three months. Uh, so interested. My granddaughter is 17, has a boyfriend there, respectful. She struggles. Oh... Um, guys, make sure you put everything in one box just so I don't have to put together puzzle pieces in case stuff starts moving fast. Mother daughter book should be next. Yeah. Which book would you recommend? So 17 has a boyfriend. They are respectful. I don't know what means she struggles with less than. I don't know what that is. Hello lovelies. Uh, who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Who wants to know when I come up live? I always do Q and A's. Like, like her self-esteem is low, you mean? Um, so a book that would help elevate her self-esteem. So something that would help elevate her self-esteem, but also give her tools for having a functional relationship. Uh, I would suggest fix that shit. Uh, so those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're going to get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. See, I just did. I just did. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Such a beautiful day outside today. Uh... There we go. Somebody's joining our our 12 week program. Hopefully this is going to be so good. I have, oh, I have a fitness and nutrition expert, um, Deidre, who's going to be doing our workouts with us and our cooking show. My ex-partner and I got toxic when he got insecure. Yes. Uh, not watching fireworks today. No, no. I've, you know, I feel like I've seen a lot of fireworks in my life and I don't feel like it's such a novelty anymore. And then I always feel bad for animals. Maggie gets really scared when there's loud noises like fireworks and our neighbor, like a few houses down was shooting off fireworks, like really good fireworks um, last night, but poor Maggie went to go hide in the basement. So, and I, I had to, I had to deal with her shaking and huddling beside me. <clears throat> so yeah. Hello, I'm unhappy with boyfriend two years now. We live and work together. He doesn't want to leave. Um, then, you know, you, you have to do what you need to do to get him to leave. Do you need to call authorities? Like, do you need to give him an eviction notice? What do you legally need to do in order to get him out? What's your best advice for going through a recent breakup, studying abroad soon and want to boss up? I love it. So bossing up. I love this one. So getting over a breakup, if your heart is hurting, like like distress, pain, uh, angst, yearning, pining, come back queen. If you're kind of hurting, but you're ready to move forward, um, I do touch on how to get over your last relationship in No More Assholes and then get into how to get into your next relationship. So depending on your level of pain, you might start with Comeback Queen and then move into No More Assholes, or you might just go straight to No More Assholes. 
What is custom made about? So custom made helps you understand what your passion and purpose is if you don't already know what it is. Um, too many people don't know what their purpose is, but we need to exercise a purpose so they're making their partner their purpose, which is dysfunctional. So uh, custom made is gonna help you understand what your purpose is and then help you understand how to monetize it. How do I tell my boyfriend that my schooling is my priority and I don't have the time and effort for him? Exactly like that. Um, exactly like that. I love you, but these next few years, I'm going to be focused on my school and I need you to not ask me to focus on you while I'm getting through school. If you can do this, if you can be okay with the time I can give you, even though it's going to be limited, then we can get through this. But if you can't be okay with me being focused on school, then our relationship is not going to last. No need for fireworks this year. Stand with the indigenous community. Why fireworks if you're in Canada? Uh, so our, we just had July 1, which was um, a Canada day. So July 1 is Canada Day and July 4th is your, what, what is it, Independence Day? Um, and so I think what our neighbors did because it was Saturday last night is they had like a bunch of people over for Canada Day and then set off their fireworks instead of doing it on a weekday. Uh, husband went on his vacation despite not discussing it with me tells me he needs a break from me um, so if you guys are doing a lot of fighting if he's a generous long-term thinker who loves you but the two of you are having a lot of conflict because you're not understanding how to relationship well then I do suggest you get fix that shit to put an end to the conflict and this need of a break from each other um, and seriously, like like my husband and I, we're we're great. We haven't had a fight in five years, but I still like my space. I still fantasize about going somewhere for like a week or two, um, and just unplugging from everything and just focusing on work. Love your glasses and dress. Thank you. But yeah, if he's a selfish short term thinker, then you know you should you should know. Right, get no more assholes, look at the 12 character traits, find out if he's a selfish short-term thinker, come get an assessment with me. Um, Sid is going to visit his father, still hasn't shown up there, don't even know where he is. That sounds really dysfunctional, love. Really, really dysfunctional. Very shady, very dysfunctional. <clears throat> I, I would suggest a coaching session. Yes, these are blue light glasses. Yes, yeah. So, uh, I you know, like it. I love the top. Thank you. Uh, so your eyes have cones, and uh, your cones are what's sensitive to light. And um, I've been waking up in the morning, and and literally having difficulty seeing because my eyesight has like it's white and hazy, and I'm like, oh damn, my cones. They're not liking all these lights that I'm doing. Um, like lights on, you know, once, twice, three times a day, or sometimes more, right? Doing all these TikToks and the lives. So um, I got these colored lights. Um, I'm diffusing the white lights, showing them more on my books and using the color lights on me. Um, got like a white light up here and I got the blue blocking glasses for all the screen time that I'm doing. And not so bad this morning when I woke up, so. Thank you. Going to cry some more, lovely. Uh, I got these all on Amazon. Amazon. Blue blocking lights on Amazon. They're not expensive. They're like $15 each too. So one of the uh, girls that comes on my live, she actually sent me the link for these and she said that they really helped her. Do -do -do. Good morning. Is there anybody here? You guys asked me what um, stylish. Yes, I like them. Um, uh, does anybody want me to do a short description about what each of my books are about? My partner ghosts me every time they go out. What should I do? 
Um, so my husband uh, and I, we don't um, demand each other's attention when we are off doing things. Uh, so, you know, like my, my husband might text me when I'm out, out at the club, out with friends, out at a party, he might text me. And um, he's, he's not mad if I don't reply or if I take hours to reply because he's, he's not asking me to do anything for him. He's, he's like, she's having fun, she's having a good time. He doesn't take it personally. So, um, you know, we are allowed to go out and have fun and not always having to be in touch with our partner. Our partner is not our parent. I don't, I don't need to check in periodically so that, you know, they know I'm still alive, right? That, that's a parent-child relationship. So I don't, I don't know how often your partner goes out. I don't know, you know, what's happening in your relationship, if you're with a selfish short-term thinker or not. If you want me to understand that, then you can get a coaching session and we can talk about what you should be doing if you need to be pulling back and taking care of your own mental health and not demanding that he answer to your anxiety. Or do you need to leave him because he's a selfish short-term thinker? I don't know. Uh, but if you want help with that, do come get a coaching session. How do you deal with giving your partner space when you're in an argument? You deal with your own anxiety. You detach your emotional roller coaster from his ride. You get fixed that shit. You resolve the fact that you guys have conflict. This is a symptom of conflict. If you stop having conflict, then you will stop having this. Okay, guys, short description about each of my books. Each of my books. Uh, okay, come back queen, come back queen. This is a book that is going to help you get over a breakup, put your heart back together, get over the pain, get over the angst, get over the pining, get over the yearning and start moving forward. No More Assholes is going to help you choose your next partner when you do move forward. So no more selfish short-term thinkers. You're gonna get a generous long-term thinker who loves you uh, and have a really great relationship because the two you're gonna be compatible and this is the staying relationship. This is no more Bouncing in and out of relationships because you keep making mistakes. Ooh, Adelie survived fight o'clock, managed myself, had a great day together, and he said things feel different. I love you. I love you. You are a superstar. Superstar. Uh, Abilene. Abilene's going to get herself a session. I love that. Superstar, Adelie. Superstar. Now, here's what you're going to do today. You're going to be... You're super sweet, super lovey-dovey. You're gonna say, I love you. You're the best partner in the world. Um, you're so good to me. I really appreciate you. And you're really going to accept this goodness. Yes, goodness, thank you, I accept you. And you're gonna be like outwardly grateful to him, but also inwardly grateful to him and also inwardly grateful to yourself. Thank you, goodness, for getting me through this. Thank you for the goodness that we have. Thank you for how amazing we are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go into gratitude, grow this good feeling. Inhale that goodness, my love. Inhale it. I'm enjoying my dating life. Thanks to you, Samar. Samar is another coaching client of mine. I love you guys. Love your evolution. You are amazing. Okay, book walk through. Let's uh, wait. I'm getting myself a session. No, Adelie, I didn't, I didn't book again, but I'll take one. This is Abelina. Abelina is getting herself a, a session. Uh, okay, so guys, book walkthrough. So No More Assholes is the one that's going to help you make sure the next one is the right one. Men, I have your version. It's called The Perfect Play. Uh, this is your way to get into a relationship with a generous long-term thinking woman. No more selfish short-term thinking girls. Hello! Uh, guys, you can get all my books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online, but I get a little bit more when you buy them off Amazon. Uh, ladies, after the first kiss, this is going to help you solidify a new relationship really set a solid foundation, not go into an insecurity stage because you understand the shifts and changes that will take place when you go from the courtship phase to reality phase. <gasps> Planet, just reading, just finished reading Dating 101. Now read them all, my super fan. She has every single one of my books. I love you. What did you think? What did you think about Dating 101? Uh, fix that shit. You guys, if there's any fighting in your relationship, bring it to zero. My husband and I fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. This is how you achieve that. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, if you're not, this will not work. You need this. If you're with a selfish short-term thinker, you need to dump the motherfucker and get yourself a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. 
By the way, if you don't know what you're with, No More Assholes has the 12 character traits you need to use to define selfish short-term thinker versus generous long-term thinker. Uh, custom made goes really well with fix that shit. Uh, if you're codependent and making your partner your purpose, stop doing that. Make your purpose your purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, this is a book that's going to help you unfold that. Every chapter ends with journaling, with exercises, because you need to understand something and then dig into yourself and go source out your answer to the question posted in here um, after the explanation. Um, then I'm going to teach you how to monetize your purpose so you start getting paid doing what you love, which is super amazing, you guys. Like, don't underestimate the power of loving your life. Dating 101. This is understand the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. I don't swear. In this one, mom and dad get this for your teenagers so that they don't need no more assholes one day. Um, I did write that to educate our teens, but this is also really good for nerds. Fake love need not apply. How to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. Uh, this is a free ebook. If you hit the free book button in the link tree in my bio, so grab that. Say yes to goodness, 10 steps to complete and happy you. This is the book that helps you understand how to be happy. See, happy, not just in your relationship, but outside your relationship as well. Uh, do you have an order in which you recommend to read all of them? So I have a what book is right for me link in the link tree in my bio. This is a 20 question questionnaire. Yes or no, super fast, super easy, super cute. When you're done doing this, it's gonna take you a minute. It's gonna list all my books in the order that you want to read them in. And it's even gonna show a little percentage graph beside each one showing you how much you wanna read each book. Chelsea followed the host, thank you. It was really helpful. It was really helpful, Miss Reading Dating 101. Read every single one of my books. It was really helpful. Learned many tips that I haven't yet known. Thank you for your wisdom. You're so welcome. Definitely going to be so, so grateful. Good, good, good. Good. Mm-hmm. Sabrina, Sabrina's gonna come see me at six o'clock on Monday. No, I didn't do the fly fishing book. Is it okay that my boyfriend calls out things he doesn't like about me? Um, Listen, the reason why you don't like it, maybe, and I don't know why, right? So. Uh, is it okay for our partners to say, hey, you have a fault? Yes, it is. What your boyfriend is calling out about you, I don't know. That can change my answer. Um, but the truth hurts. And sometimes we don't like hearing those things because we have an ego reaction. An ego reaction is the whoosh. The whoosh is like a white hot instant sensation and you reject what they say. But what happened was there was a negative truth in what they said and your ego has an impression of you. It maintains an impression of you. When your ego disagrees with, disagrees with the truth about you that it does not want to acknowledge, then there is an angry denial of that. If somebody says something and you have an immediate whoosh and you want to deny it, the first thing to do is pause and ask yourself, is there truth in what I just heard? And be honest with yourself. If the answer is yes, the next thing you want to say to yourself is what do I need to do in order to ensure the next time I hear this, it is not true. And then do that inner work. Just booked a session for tomorrow, Sabrina. Good, 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 good. I'm happy to see that. Happy to see that. Happy to see that. I'm going to go back and see what it is we're going to talk about. Sabrina, I'm looking forward to talking with you tomorrow. I have pen and paper handy. Um, feel free to record the session. You can screen record, tape record, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, this is your session. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. 
any tips for long distance i got a whole guide for you it's free uh go to my bio click on the link tree there's a free long distance guide in there go ahead and download that Good idea. I'll have those ready. Looking forward to it. Yes, me too, lovely. Me too, me too. Abelina, Abelina Sabrina. I love that name. Good morning from Montana. Beautiful mountainous Montana. Hello, lovelies. Happy 4th of July. Yes, all my American friends. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Greetings from New Orleans. Hello, been there. So gorgeous. New Orleans is so awesome. Is Mikashi? Hello, lovelies. Does anybody want a notification when I go live? I go live at least once a day i literally feel bad if i don't if i don't go live at least once a day um and i do q and a's the whole time answer your questions thank you you're so beautiful i love your hair and beautiful smile thank you lovely i haven't been this blonde you guys since i was like 17 and like box 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 blonde in my hair yes okay those of you who want a notification when i go live click my picture here once or twice you're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell click on the bell when you do that say i just did uh i wonder i wonder i wonder if my hair salon is open yet they might be closed on Sunday though. <laughs> Guys, I am I am working on so much for you. I'm working on so much for you right now. Um writing a book, recording a book, putting together a 12 week program to get your physical body, your brain, your your um, antenna all tuned up. Ooh, full body tune up. Ooh, full body tune up. I love it. I love it. That's what I should, I should name that 12 weeks of full body tune up. So, so here the working, the working title for this 12 week program, by the way, right now is, um, a 12 week lifestyle hack health 12 week healthy lifestyle hack um but maybe i should call it a full body tune up so right now i'm doing no more assholes we are working on no more assholes right now <clears throat> yeah halfway through Halfway through recording, no more assholes. And then I'm gonna take a look at what my third bestseller is, uh, whatever that's been for the past few months, and that's gonna be the next audiobook that I record. And I'm just gonna record. I'm just gonna make audiobooks for all my books uh, until uh, until they've been done. Why are you so obsessed with me? Everybody knows. Hello, my love. How's our, our video feed, you guys? Goodbye. Do, 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 do. People come here and say stuff like that and think they're gonna get to stay, please. How did you know you wanted to do this as your career? Uh, so I've been doing this for over 20, like, like ever since my mid-20s, people have been coming to me um, you know uh calling me agitated oh my god i'm going through this this is what happened in my relationship and um within 10 minutes they're like i feel so much better you're so calming you're so soothing 
And so like I've always kind of had this knack of helping people um, understand what they should be changing. And when they do those changes, they they have goodness happen in their lives. Um, and so it's, it's always kind of been an, like a natural thing for me. People gravitate and the advice that I give has always been helpful. So when it was time for me to switch careers, it's it was like a natural evolution for me to continue doing something that I was already good at. Um, and then initially I thought, you know, I'm gonna like go do therapy, work for somebody, go in an office every day and um, be a therapist. And uh, then I decided I wanted to work for myself because I wanted to follow my rules, not someone else's. Can you fall back in love after you've fallen out of it? Yeah, it's possible. That's I, honestly, I fell out of love with my husband and now I'm back in love with him. I feel like I listen to Fix Asha daily at least once a week. Adelie, I love you. So beautiful. Guys, Fix That Shit is an audiobook, but you can only get it through the link tree in my bio. Hi. Hello, Queen. Follow the host. Thank you. You really are soothing. Thank you. Hello, lovely. What do you do if you married a narcissist? Make it work, leave. So I was just getting a coaching session um, because I like with with zero information. I can't you advise. I, I, I can't you advise. Hello. I can not advise you to leave or stay. Uh, the word narcissist is very overused. So I don't know if he's a narcissist or just dysfunctional. So I don't know what's happening in your relationship. Uh, if you want to know, should you stay or should you go? That's a question I get asked a lot on coaching sessions. So if you want to know, should you stay or should you go? What you should do in either case, come get a coaching session. So I can do an assessment and then help you with a plan. Which ones are available as audiobooks so far and how do I access them? So only fix that shit right now. You can only get it through the link tree in my bio. I want to do the 12 week program. If we can't make it to Zoom, will they be recorded for later? Absolutely. Every single thing I like, like those five scheduled lives, if you don't make it for the live, we are recreating it as a, um, as a replay. Absolutely. 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 How did your hubby propose to you? Uh, okay. So this is cute. This is cute. Um, it is, it was so not romantic. Um, so one thing that I say to you is the easier you make it, the more likely you are to get what you want. Remind me to come back to this. I do want to ask this question. What's the 12 week program? So for 12 weeks, we are doing a, uh, basically we are aligning your physical body, you know, like the three parts of you, right? So what did I say earlier? I thought I had like a really good, um, so over the course of 12 weeks, I have a fitness and nutrition expert working with us. She's going to do two workouts with us a week. She's going to do one cooking show with us a week, showing us an easy, nutritious recipe. Um, I am going to do a fireside chat, bringing in special guests. And like, seriously, guys, I have, I have Miss New Canada lined up as a special guest. I have a occupational therapist lined up as a special guest. I am bringing you guys a wide variety of people to talk about a wide variety of subjects at the fireside chats every week. All of these are interactive, by the way. Also, um, the last schedule live is going to be a soul session. This is where we do guided meditations, manifestation work, intention setting. So this is going to align your physical body, your physical health, your mental health, your, your, your antenna right? Your, your energetic antenna. We are aligning everything inside of you over the course of 12 weeks. I'm also doing lots of education with you. So bringing those special guests, um, I'm launching, was it seven? Is it eight? How many courses? I've got seven or eight workshops. I got, I'm, I got to count. I got to count. Um, or somebody can go to that 12 week, uh, lifestyle hack and count how many workshops. If you want to do that for me and tell me how many workshops I'm launching during that time. So with your membership fee, you're going to have access to all these workshops for free. Um, you're also going to get a one hour coaching session every month for free. So that's a $600 value. Every workshop is $149 value. Uh, the workshops are going to be dating, relationships, um, 
there is a, a business launch for my, my custom made people. There's a marketing your business. Again, custom made people, if you guys are diving into that, take advantage of this. For people who want to be an author, I have a workshop on writing books and another workshop on self-publishing. I also have a workshop on how to do the sexy boudoir dance. Those of you who want to know how to do some sexy dances for your partner. So all of these are included in this 12 week program. You do want to add your name to the mailing list if you are interested in this program because on July 19th for 24 hours, I'm giving you half off the price. So if you want to get in on this, go hit that 12 week, 12 week lifestyle hack button in the link to my bio and go add your name to the email list. Uh, so how did my husband propose? Uh, so when it came to getting my engagement ring, I didn't make him go shopping with me because listen, guys, engagement ring, like it's got to be our style, right? I ended up going to probably a dozen jewelry stores. I don't want to drag him around from store to store while I tried on rings just for him to watch me try on rings and, and, and say, no, not this. Right. Um, so what I ended up doing was just going and sourcing my ring myself, which I ended up designing and picking my stone for. Um, and then when the ring was ready, I went and got it and I brought it home and I gave it to him when he got home that night, like 1130 at night. I said, baby, here's the ring. Go ahead and propose. He's in his pajamas. We're standing in my living room. I just gave him the ring. He gets down on one knee, says something super generic, um, <coughs> right? Like totally not memorable. Um, and, uh, and then I said, yes. And then I put the ring on. I just wanted to put the ring on. So that was our proposal. So excited. Once I said my ther once I said my therapist I loved her and then later we kissed at AA meeting. That's weird. That's weird. I'm I might I might just have to mute you because that's just weird. Yeah, I don't even know if that's true, honestly. Will we still have access to the materials after the 12 weeks to refer back? Um, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Um, I don't see why not. Uh, not forever. Like I'm not going to promise that uh, it's going to be stored there for you guys forever. Um, but certainly for a period of time, you definitely will be able to go back and, and reaccess that. Uh, how did you guys get to the point? Did he say, I want to propose, go get a ring? No. So we, um, you know, we had fought for a very long time. We broke up multiple times. He broke up with me again. I said, you know, I, I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, that's too bad. And then I got to work getting over him to find my next relationship and started dating someone else. Um, and then I emailed you for the fix for the direct link to fix that shit audiobook. Oh, you need a, the link isn't working for you? you. So the link should take you to a page where you copy paste a link there onto a new browser window because TikTok does kind of seem to break the link when you're heading over to my page. Uh, so he didn't want to lose me at that point after I started dating somebody else. I was using a no kissing for three months dating rule, just so you know. Um, and he realized he was on the verge of losing me. He realized he didn't want to lose me. And so he tried to win me back. I said, no. Um, I said, you know what, who you are is no longer who I want to be with for me. Like I've defined my next relationship and things have changed for me. And so he came back, uh, saying, because one of the things that changed was I went from thinking I didn't want to get married and I just wanted symbolism to, I definitely do want to get married again. And he came back and said, I want to marry you. And, um, so we, we talked about it uh, and I, I did some thinking and I realized he was where I wanted him to be. So I said, okay. I said, but I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to wait forever for us to get married. So when would we actually get married? And then I agreed. I agreed to get engaged. I agreed to get married. And then I, you know, went out and got the ring. Uh, I was trying to explain the no kissing rule. I think it sounds better when you explain it. Uh, do grab no more assholes because the script is in there. Uh, the script is in there. So it does give you the ability to, um, 
uh, really kind of study it and get more comfortable saying it. Hot mess mama. The link isn't highlighted for me. I downloaded the audiobook player for iOS. Okay. Did you pay for the ring or did he? So his budget was $5,000. Um, the, the ultimate cost of the ring was 6,000 because, you know, I, I was particular with what I wanted in terms of like a middle stone. Um, I paid the extra thousand. I didn't ask him for the extra thousand. I figured since this was something that I wanted, I wasn't, I wasn't going to ask him to pay that additional. So, uh, he paid five and I paid six for my ring. Link isn't highlighted for me. Um, let me grab my laptop. Hello, Maggie, my big girl. Ring details. So it's a it's a point it's a point nine. It's a point nine. It is flawed, which is totally fine. Like there is a there is a flaw in it, but the cut is really amazing. We're gonna get this. The cut is super amazing. I went I went to a local jeweler here, so you can, you can kind of see the darkness in there a little bit. You can see the flaw, which is fine. Nothing is nothing is perfect, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I really wanted, uh, like, like, uh, a girlfriend that I had, she, um, when she got engaged, it was like a single solitaire and then, and then just this like delicate band. And I really liked that simple, simple look, but I also liked channel setting. I also like, I, I, you know, I like the, but usually the channel setting was like, you know, sort of the wider bars, but I liked how they use the smaller diamonds for the accent around the middle diamond. Cut is most important. Yes, it is most important. It gives off the sparkles. Yes, yep. My dream ring is actually so much like yours. Nice. Uh, so it will likely cost you less to go to a jeweler and have your ring custom made. Pick out your diamond and have it custom made. Like it literally costs less for what I got, right? The quality of diamond. Um, I paid less getting it custom made than I did buying it off the jewelry store velvet. Uh, it's beautiful, sounds fair, yes, yeah. Hot Miss Mama, what's your name, lovely? What's your name name? I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi on my laptop, you guys. This might have an effect on my feed. Good morning, how was your ride yesterday? It was very short because my husband has two motorcycles. One is a crotch rocket and one is the Yamaha. And I love the Yamaha because there's his seat and there's my seat and I can squish up against him and hold him. On the crotch rocket, there's his seat and my seat and I can squish up into him and I didn't like that. So we just did a really short ride. Like we did a ride around the property um, just to see how I liked it. And I was like, no, nah, not for me. So, uh, so yeah, so got to wait for the Yamaha to get fixed. Samantha. Uh, okay. So S Samantha, when did you order your book, my love? You say you got an audio. You say you got an audio book. When did you buy this? Uh, you say you email me, but you probably messaged me on TikTok. Um, you probably messaged me. What name is the book under? <clears throat> and I'm not opening my TikTok right now because it's going to pull a lot of bandwidth. 
try to access the audiobook off your link. So you haven't you haven't purchased it. Um, okay. Do so you have to highlight the link by the way. Like you have to like highlight the link and then copy and paste it onto a new browser. Um, it's not a hyperlink. You have to highlight it and then copy and paste it. If that's if that's what you were saying is that the it wasn't a hyperlink. It wasn't just a click and go. You have to highlight it, take it, and then paste it onto a new browser window. Ah, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is so cute, Adelie. Didn't ask questions, just said have fun. Next day he was so romantic and grateful. They really are. Like, um, one of the things that I teach you guys is that a good man never leaves a feeling of gratitude, go unrewarded. If you are with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, if you're with a good man and you start getting a hold of your emotions and your behaviors, um, and they start feeling grateful for you because there's less conflict in your relationship as a result of your efforts, they start showing you so much more love, appreciation, affection, communication, desire to be with you. That makes more sense. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're so welcome. And like you said, the easier you make it, the more likely you are to get what you want. Yeah, with a good man, by the way, with a good man. Selfish short-term thinkers just take, right? And and so we, we try to make it easier and easier because we're just trying to get something back um, and they just take. So that's why you never want to be in a relationship with a selfish short-term thinker because uh, ultimately you don't, you don't get what you want and need. Generous long-term thinkers, when you are generous with them, they're like, oh my God, how much more generous can I be with you? Because they're grateful and they never leave a feeling of gratitude go unrewarded. Jewels, you gotta make some more friends, my love. You gotta make some new friends. You gotta do some some stuff in your area that's gonna get you meeting people. How's Charlie? Oh, he's so cute. Um, so he's at work with daddy. No, is he home? Maybe he did come home. Uh I got Charlie! I don't remember. I know he, he goes to work with daddy in the mornings when Dennis goes to work, he goes with him. Hello. Um, and, uh, so, but it's so cute because in the mornings he likes to watch the people go by and, uh, and he barks and howls at them and he's getting more howly, which I encourage because I think the howling is so adorable. Oh, Maggie, big girl. They're so cute. They like getting their teeth brushed at night. So at night I'm brushing my teeth and Charlie comes and he sits beside me and waits for his turn. And Maggie was all excited when I said, do you want to brush your teeth? He's my little guard dog. He is, he's so territorial. Uh, I want to make more friends. I just don't know where to start since everything is so expensive. Uh, you can volunteer. You can volunteer at something. Volunteering is always free. Uh, my loves, my loves, my loves, I'm going to go because uh, I am hungry. Uh, is, there's Tinder for friends. It's Bumble. Bumble, uh, Bumble is a great way for women to meet women. I believe Bumble now has a, a friends option for women to make more friends. Bumble BFF. There we go. There we go. 
Uh, okay, my loves, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go have something to eat. I haven't had breakfast yet. I love you. I love you. Uh, I'm gonna let you set yourself up to get a notification when I come back. So click my picture here once or twice. You're gonna get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say I just did. Uh, go take advantage of the freebies in the link tree in my bio. There's a free book, free meditation guide, free long distance manual. Uh, if you want coaching, there's a coaching button in there. Make sure you follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. There is links to my YouTube channel and my podcast in the link tree in my bio. Go check it out. I got lots and lots of good stuff in there. Thanks for popping on. Always love your lives. Thank you. Uh, do you have any words on limerence? No. No, no, I don't. Because I literally don't know what that means. Ah. Uh, I love you. I will be back soon. Mama gets to go eat something. Mwah. I'll see you soon, lovelies.